Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I got an idea for a video the other day that I thought would be kind of fun to share. I was thinking about kind of my reading experiences in school, particularly high school and elementary. And one of the things I think that is really good about reading in those times is it kind of encourages you to break out of your usual reading molds a little bit. I mostly read fantasy and classics, although there is some deviation from that. But we did not actually read really any fantasy, or maybe a tiny bit of fantasy, but very little when I was in school. We did read classics, but very little fantasy. So as a result, I kind of read some other things of this type. So I thought I would highlight a couple of the books that I would not have read on my own, but I read in school and ended up really enjoying and would totally go back and reread now. So this video is going to kind of be highlighting some of the, of the books that I read during that time that I would not normally pick up on my own, but I ended up really, really enjoying and would recommend to other people as well. So first up, we have Cyrano de Bergerac by Edmund Rostand. I had honestly never heard of this apart from school. My sister studied it first because they're both older than me and went through the same classes. So the plot of Cyrano de Bergerac centers around the title character, Cyrano de Bergerac. He is a musketeer who has a rather large nose, but he also has an amazing set of skills. He's very clever, very witty, he's very good at writing poetry, he's also an excellent fighter, and he is a legitimately fun person to spend time with, even if he can be kind of hot-tempered at times. And he is in love with a woman named Roxanne, who basically views him as a brother. She doesn't even register that he's a potential romantic partner, even though he technically is. But unfortunately, she has fallen in love with another man named Christian. It's made pretty apparent that she's basically only in love with Christian's looks, which is a bit of a blow for Cyrano because, you know, he does not fit with the conventions of the time for appearance. But he does actually decide that he wants to help Christian and Roxanne. So this book kind of centers in around them. And it also deals with some other interesting plot twists. There's also another character who is also in love with Roxanne and he does not take it as well as Cyrano does, but she does not want to be with him. This play is actually the one that I studied in grade 10 in the place of what would have been normally a Shakespeare play. My other grades we all studied different Shakespeare plays, but in grade 10 we did this. So that kind of gives you an idea of what kind of niche play it fits into. This play has comedic moments, but it's actually very, very heartbreaking at a lot of times and it has some really interesting character studies. I enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. Now, Cyrano de Bergerac was a play that I read in grade 10, and this next one is one that was read to me when I was in grade 3, and that is Treasures of the Snow by Patricia St. John. Now, this book has some very serious parts, it deals with a lot of very serious stuff, but it is something that is appropriate, I would say, for that age range. The plot is basically that there is a young girl who, her mother dies when she's very young, and so she basically raises her younger brother. And then, due to the actions of, an, of a boy who lives nearby, her brother gets severely injured and is now crippled. And this book, it actually focuses more on the boy who hurt her brother than it does her. And it's mostly about him trying to make amends for what he did and attempting to, I guess, help to repair the situation. So it's a story of redemption and forgiveness, but it's, it's just, it's actually a really sweet book, despite the fact that it has some very sad moments. And the last book I'm going to focus in on this video is Camp X by Eric Walters. This was read to me in, I believe, grade 5, and it is so good. It takes place during World War II, and it is about two brothers who live, I believe, in Ontario, and they discover that there's a military base near where they live. And there's a lot of interesting shenanigans that go along with that. There is some espionage involved, and you, you see the two boys attempting to help kind of win the war, I guess, or win a part of the war, I guess. This book is very well written. Eric Walters is a really good writer. He makes both of the boys interesting and likable, but distinct from each other. And there's a couple characters that I don't really want to talk about yet because it's a spoiler. But yeah, that's a, that character is really good too. <laughs> and as a fun little side note, I was actually fortunate enough to meet Eric Walters in a bookstore one time, and he's very, very friendly. We had a really good talk about the writing industry. It was fun. So what kind of books did you guys read in school that you thought were really good but unexpectedly so? Or even what books did you just read in school and, and enjoy in general? Thank you to all of you teachers, child care workers, and parents out there who help to find books to help inspire kids to read because it is really important and I appreciated it very much, I know. <laughs> Thanks for watching you guys and have a wonderful day. See you later. So first up we have Cyrano de Bergerac by... Wow, that's a first.